going to show you how to use an instrument in Pro Tools. So before we do anything in Pro Tools with an instrument, it will pay to have a click track, or at least I'm going to do something that's metrical. So let's create a click track first. So we can do that by going to the track menu and go create click track. And then if we do that, Pro Tools will create a click track. Uh, this is just a simple kind of track that just plays back a metronome. So let me just hit the space bar. Okay, and it's happening. So that's really, really straightforward. If at any time I'm working that I don't want to hear the click, I can just turn it off with the mute button. So pretty simple thing, just create click track and then it's there. Okay, the next thing to look at is the tempo. Okay, so if we want to deal with the tempo, we need to go to the window menu and pop out transport. And that gives you a breakaway strip which has basically got the same functions as the main transport in the edit window here, um, but it also has a few other features here. Notice before we go on that you can change these counters between whatever time base you want to, bars and beats or minutes and seconds and so on. But I want to be in bars and beats. Same deal with the main edit window here. We can have it on bars and beats or we can have it on uh, clock time. You'll see that Pro Tools defaults to 120 beats per minute and if we want to change the tempo it's as simple as clicking and dragging this around okay so speed this right up to 168 play that click okay that's pretty quick and then pull it down to something super slow like 70 so if it's just as simple as setting a standard tempo for the whole song you can kind of do it here by just dragging around this uh, tempo control in the transport bar until you get something you want. There is another way of entering tempo and that is by clicking on the tempo meter here and then just uh, hitting the T key. So you just set a tempo by hitting the T key on the keyboard. So you can even tap a tempo if you want to, which makes it pretty cool. If you're playing an instrument and you just want to tap along, then you can kind of find your tempo that way. So tempo is pretty straightforward. We can use something called the conductor track. I mean, essentially we can change tempo throughout a track and we put in uh, tempo changes throughout this line here. But, you know, we won't do that at this point. We're just going to choose a nice slow tempo and keep it at that. So the next thing we need to do to create an instrument track is do that. Go up to the track menu and go new. We've done this before with audio tracks. But this time, instead of uh, it being an audio track, we're going to make it a stereo because instruments are in stereo. Instrument track. We can give it a name. I'll just leave it to the default of instrument at the moment because I'm just uh, demonstrating it. Okay, so that is created an instrument track. Now you may or may not see this instrument bit here, depending on the preferences that you've set within Pro Tools. In the edit window and in the mix window, you can actually show or hide things. So I'll just show you where this instrument area is. So in view, if you go to the edit window views, you get to turn stuff on and off in this view. So if I was to turn instruments off, you'd see I'd lose those instrument controls. If I go back to the view menu and I go edit window views instruments, then I get this little instrument section here, uh, which is what I want to see when I'm working on an instrument. This first drop down tab here is the uh, MIDI input selector. It defaults to all, so it will listen to everything and we can just leave it on all because we haven't got some complex setup with a million different MIDI controllers, but if we do, we could get different tracks to look at different MIDI inputs. So just leave it to all. But just so I pop it down so you can see what's underneath it, you can see here I've got my Axiom controller, my Axiom 49, and I'm using the, the USB input. So I could get Pro Tools to look at uh, all of the MIDI channels on my Axiom USB, but I'll just leave it set to all, but that just shows you that this is a uh, MIDI input selector control here with this pop-down menu. All right, so I want to add an instrument, so I can go to my inserts control. So your inserts are where you put plugins in and software instruments will appear as plugins and they're available in the uh, inserts of your channel. So if I just click on the first insert slot, 
and then that'll pop down a menu here and I can go through all of my audio processes but you'll see that one of these is the instrument folder and on my machine I can have a lot of instruments as you can see but you can choose whatever instrument you want to put on. I have this really nice electric piano uh, which I'm going to use for a demonstration it's called the electric 88 okay and uh, once I put that on it loads it takes a moment to load and it pops out on a window here uh, this is a fantastic instrument it's made by waves it was only cost 29 bucks which is pretty unbelievable but it actually is a incredible model of a, of a Fender Rhodes so that's my instrument and it's been put onto my instrument channel so I should be able to uh, play this now so I'll just play my keyboard and it's ready to record so next we'll look at recording something in using this instrument and I'm just going to start a simple song here which maybe we can work on throughout all of these tutorials. Bit of mood lighting. It's a very simple part, it's very bare, so you've got to get it right, okay? So it's quite a good example, so let's give it a go. Record enable and uh, get my pedal, get my lights out of the way. Oh no, that's my headphones. <laughs> 